Here's a typical exam or test question, asking us to work out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a given matrix. At the end I'll put up on the screen a nicely typed up solution, but before that I'll work through explaining a solution. To understand it, there's a few things that you need to know. The determinant of a matrix, you should be familiar with this idea of Gaussian elimination, and finally you need to know how to multiply a vector by a matrix like I've got here. And you can see in this example that I've multiplied the vector 1, 1 by the given matrix and we end up with a matrix uh, vector that is a different length and importantly a different direction to the vector that we started with 1, 1. So what we're looking for in the case of eigenvalues and eigenvectors is some very special vectors uh, that don't change direction when we multiply by the matrix. All that can change is the length. So here's the setup. We've got the matrix that we were given in the question. We're going to call the vector uh, the eigenvector here AB and the only requirement is that A and, A and B are not both equal to zero. So we're not talking about a zero vector. And the effect of that multiplication is that we end up with a vector which is lambda A, lambda B. Um, we normally use the Greek letter lambda, which is a bit unfortunate using, <laughs> given the animation software that I'm using, but nevertheless, um, we end up with this equation and that's what we need to solve. So the starting point is that we can subtract uh, lambda times AB from both sides, and on the right hand side we'll end up with the vector 0, 0. What we can now do is, before the, you know, between the lambda and the vector AB, we can put a, a matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, the so-called identity matrix. And the identity matrix has no effect when we uh, multiply a vector by it, so I'm perfectly entitled to put that in there. And once I do that, I can sort of, if you like, take out the common factor of the vector AB. And so what I end up with is this, Vec, uh, this matrix acting on the vector AB which gives me the vector 0, 0. And now there's a little bit of a tricky step which you may need to do a little bit of work on to really get comfortable with. Um, I can explain it this way. Um, whatever solution we come up with this AB, it's not going to be unique because if AB is a solution, well, so is 2A, 2B or the vector, I don't know, negative 5A, negative 5B. They're all going to be solutions. So there's more than one solution here. And because of that, it means the determinant of the matrix must equal zero. And that gives us an, an entry into what the eigenvalues are. So I've put up here the equation where the determinant of this matrix is now equal to the number zero. And when I expand that out, I get this equation and then I end up finally solving it and getting that lambda equals negative 4 and 1. So we've made some progress. The eigenvalues of the given matrix are the numbers negative 4 and 1. Okay, we've worked out the eigenvalues. Now let's work out the eigenvectors. To do that, let's go back to some calculations I had up before. I'm only going to need the last line. And let's find the eigenvector corresponding to an eigenvalue of negative 4. So we know that neg uh, lambda equals negative 4, so we can just put it in to the matrix. And that gives us what we can see at the start of this line here, this matrix 6, negative 3, 2, negative 1. And I've just drawn the line down there to augment the matrix with the 0, 0, because this is now just solving two simultaneous equations. Um, in matrix form, and we just use Gaussian elimination. You'll notice that the second row, 2, negative 1, is just a multiple of the first row, and you would expect that because we need uh, multiple solutions. And if you go through all the Gaussian elimination, I'll leave that you, for you to do that, then we end up with that the vector AB is equal to some multiple, or any multiple, of the vector 1, 2, which I've got there. Now to do the uh, eigenvector corresponding to an eigenvalue of 1, we're just going to do exactly the same calculations, but instead of using lambda equals negative 4, we'll just use 1. 
And here's just a quick uh, check that in fact what we worked out for the eigenvalue of negative 4 is correct. You can see here that well, I've just picked a random multiple of the vector 1, 2 and when I apply the matrix to it you would expect that, um, that I'll get some multiple of the vector that I chose and that's what we get. Finally here's a, a quite a short solution that I've typed up to this problem just to give you an idea of what you could write in an exam. You could argue that maybe you should put an extra line for the Gaussian elimination but it sort of depends on your examiner and lecturer. That's it for eigenvalues and eigenvectors made easy. I hope you found it useful.